Hello there. In this video, I want to go over how to install Uncensored AI on your computer, local installation without any connection to your internet afterwards, so you can run totally independent. Because it is involved a lot of lot of different steps, be sure you have it Git. Git allowed us to connect to online repository and download the code on our local machine, so we don't need to run through the internet. Next, you want to download Python. I'm running Python on Windows, but be sure when you downloaded Python, you actually want to get it version 3.10 when we're going to use the Automatic 11.11 installations. Again, and it's in the video where I provide before all steps, how what you need to do to run it and install it. And as you're installing this, I highly recommend install control net control net will provide much flexibility for us and to install control net after your stable diffusion running you can click on extensions going to available you can load go for control net so we go for control net and from here you can download it control net in my case you'll notice i have the information that says already install it after you're done, you can go in and install it, apply and restart UI. Then you actually need to go inside text to image and you notice you will have a control net running right showing. If you expand, you want to be sure all models is loaded. I have a link for you to show how to do this. Or you can also preload them manually or select preprocessor you want to use it select a model related to this and click generate of course you need to add image and dual process the reason why we want to do for this model because at this time it will connect to the internet and pull out all models necessary to your local machine if you do this after disconnections you will get an error and those models won't be run so be sure you have it all of these models preprocessor and models in my other video you maybe notice when you install stable diffusion you go to web ui user badge right click going to show more options and go to edit and when you edit if you want to be independent and don't from internet at that time you want to remove this command you don't want to actually have it in your executable batch file you would need to run this command once in a while when you have an internet connection so it did get it latest code and update to your machine anytime when you update your local installation of stable diffusion you also want to go inside stable diffusion extensions and click check for update what this will do it also will connect to internet keep it in mind this is will have the request to the github to latest updates on extensions and what's happening almost all other updates you'll notice right here it's come up and says new commit is available so that way you need to click apply and restart but you don't need to do this every time or often okay so next things what i recommend for you to do if you want to do animations it's going and downloaded ffmpeg this is will be install executable applications on your machine which allow you to create animations it will take your video file can split on frames and take all frames and put them together so this is again single time installations and it's going on your machine and of course as you're working to have a different checkpoint or models is very important because this is provided flexibility this is actually where all interesting things is reside if you notice we have a two actually important things we have a sampling method and we have a checkpoint sampling method it's what creating the noising it's mean stable diffusion create a noise and after the denoising going over and removing when it's creating it will refer to checkpoint to verify or see how close to your prompt and based on what checkpoint you used or models that is what you have in the result it's come with default models, but here's another place where you can get it all different models and it's hundreds, hundred different models. Big warning sign, this is very not work safe. What personally I do, I go into the eye and I enable safe filter. So I only see work safe images and models. So if you are feel comfortable, you can uncheck and view everything you wanted. You can go ahead and just enable checkpoints so you can only preview them. 
then you notice you have all of these different models you can download it personally i do like rpg version 4 i think this is a very nice interesting model and this is important it's right here notice right here it says saved answer what is meaning this is verified it does not have any harmless code it's special build on this be very careful what models and checkpoints you download it just to read comments see what people posted and usually if they have it a lot of downloads like this 46,000, then most likely people already will find if it does have any harm code so this is model is what i like it you can again download it in your computer and you can place them inside your stable diffusion folder going down where it says models expand this going down to stable diffusion folder and you can place them inside your folder so it's all what you need to do after this inside the stable diffusion you can reload it and this is model should showing here so it's why it's important to have it right models for you to install it so you have it correct things what you're asking about if you're not sure what model done download it or want to experiment with them before you do i will recommend this place mage that space the only problem with this to access some of those models they in a premium account so you actually need to pay for this to try it and again this is online all it does provide for me sometimes i can look through all those models see what they have it and if they look interesting to me i can go to link to the place cv.ai.com and downloaded this model from here they don't have it actually sensor on the words or what you're creating it's also provides somewhat privacy but privacy it's relative because this is privacy on the server so they can still access and see what you're doing what prompts you're using what images was generating from what ip you access and so on so it is not truly privacy what privacy and uncensored you have it it's when you run on your local machine because you can disconnect from internet and generate what you wanted or create any prompt you wish but saying this one thing please be responsible any tools that God provide you responsibility heavily depend on your personal opinion so if you're adult you know what you're doing please act as adult and generate correct harmless content that does not provide harmless to anybody else so as I mentioned before about the text generated because sometimes you want to create maybe uh, prompts or you want to use a text with your um, uncensored AI and of course as I said before some of those like open chat or chat GPT they do provide actually heavily sensors you cannot ask some subject you cannot have some conversations they are very very strict this is required a little bit more work to do this but generally what you want to do is have it from github have it after gpt chat you also uh, want to download it and install it does require some little bit more prerequisitions as well like install the linux on your windows and other things again video is above it's a little bit longer video but it is provide for you all the steps and if you follow you make it work don't get discouraged um i find sometimes it may don't work because you accidentally skip one or two steps or something happening there but in the end you will run your own local after jet gpt and after jet gpt it's going to run locally or also you can have it options that will involve with internet research and do other things so it's a very very powerful tool and it created let me know if you find any other interesting ways to create it or access thank you for watching the videos give us thumbs up subscribe and thank you all of you for your support